Hi, I'm Chris Teasley. I first became interested in art. I'd say in the 80s I went to music school and but happened to live with guys that went to the Art Institute in Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, I went to art school and studied painting in Boston, Massachusetts at the School of the Museum of Fine Arts from 2000 to 2004. And, uh, kind of had uh, some training at the Kansas City Art Institute just by way of hanging out there a lot and living with students that you know I shared was roommates with guys that all went there and stuff so took a, took part in a lot of things there and that's really where I I think caught the bug and started painting around 1990 painted um, observationally for the most part uh, up until I 2000, 2001, when I decided to start sort of looking for, a, I don't know, a, a voice of my own that didn't rely on imagery or objectivity, so started to experiment. The st style I've been working on, I developed more on panels and stuff because I needed, I thought, a fast surface the, to, for the technique I use, but in the last you know, I don't know, five years, I really have decided I wanted to bring this work to oil painting and to canvas, stretched canvas and prepared canvas and stuff like that. And then, but, it, but things happened that were more than just a spill or an accident. There's a cellular, you know, when you, when you blow something it creates a cell and then that puddles and creates a cell and creates a cell and then just sort of worked it like that. And then, um, so then I start composing with that, you know, um, uh, either all over or isolated, things like that. And then that's led to this body of work that I'm showing now, which is where I've introduced that technique as a monochromatic underpainting. And then I apply the glazing techniques that I used to use in landscape or in, in um, still life and actual brushwork and things that you know before it was more of an immediate I'd do this kind of action and it would create the work and if I didn't like it I could wipe it off and try another until I got one that fixed. Now I'm doing that but that's and I guess what I'm trying to do at this point is paint out that trick like I want them to become paintings of their own that you know that are that are oil paintings but they're not a display of of this technique but the technique just informs the painting basically in its uh, subject and then I paint that then I get to use you know I get to use paint skills and and color skills and and, uh, and brushes again and, and real oil paint and stuff. And that's, that's what I've been focused on for about the last five years. And that's what these, these paintings in this show represent. I'm most satisfied when the technique that I'm using or the paintings that I'm making um, continue to give something. Like it doesn't repeat itself to the point that I feel like I've come to the end of it. You know, I, I began painting in this style almost 20 years ago and every now and then I think maybe there's, I've, it's done what it's going to do and then a new idea will creep in which opens up a whole bunch of ideas that I have either just never thought of or just touched on and then I know that it's just I've got more to do with it and it's got more to give and and that's the best thing because that means going back to studio which is where I want to be you know it's, it's making the work. What drew me to abstract and non-objective is I didn't want to plant any more words or ideas or give them to a viewer that they don't find themselves you know I think that's obviously an old it's a you know an old uh, definition you know but it's I I truly when I was I did still lifes and landscapes I really got tired or not tired but I started having a lot of trouble with why am I choosing an object and painting it 
you know, and why am I so... When I started searching to, for an abstract voice of my own, it was too, you know, there's enough words in the world and there's enough, you know, uh, it was really just to present images and a painting, because I'm a painter, that allows for information and painting decisions and color and all the things that I want to do in a painting that I would want to do in a still life or anything else but without any attachment to a word or a sentence or an idea that is that that I'm giving the viewer I want I want I want someone to look into these paintings to follow the paintings around and then whatever happens to them happens to them or nothing you know but that's that's really I just wanted to separate myself from any uh, narrative, you know. All right, so I'm having a show here at Mossman Hall, and uh, everybody, come see it. Come on out. It'll be a nice night. It's a good work, beautiful place, and I think there's usually food and drinks, so can't beat it. <laughs>